Sims La Mer, SK2, and Skkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkk
with other questionable fashion choices. Well, these Elizabeth Arden capsules are very innovative. They are these encapsulated skincare little micro doses put into these little drops of gorgeousness, but they cost 80 to like $100. Like why, what is in there, why, why? Now, I love these capsules, but for a fraction of the price. Specifically, we have these super active capsules with double vitamin C, as well as these, which are relatively new to my routine, these little ceramide capsules that are literally hydration bombs in this tiny little bottle. These are perfect for traveling. They are these little micro doses. Beauty Pie does these capsules so freaking well. This is probably one of my favorite Beauty Pie products of all time, and they're inexpensive. When you compare them to the other ones. Now, Beauty Pie is interesting because it's kind of like, think of it as like the Costco of skincare, where you have like a membership and then you get to go in and buy things at a discounted price, especially during recessions and economies going, Chow! Costco sales actually go up in recessions because people want a good deal. And in my head, I'm like, why don't we always want a good deal? You know what I'm saying? So when it comes to Beauty Pie, I look at it the same way. I've had my subscription for over, oh my God, over two years now. I think I started in 2020, but I am looking for a deal all year round. And when I can get these for $18 instead of 80, 90, 100, absolutely. freaking lootly The other thing is that they have 60 in here as opposed to just like 30. And um, you can get the little ceramide ones, you can get the vitamin C ones, you can get, ooh, I dropped one. You can mix and match, but these are basically little micro doses of skincare. And the little capsules themselves are actually biodegradable. So you can literally put them in water and they dissolve. They don't gum up the environment and they're not adding plastic or microplastics to the ocean water. Because we must save the ocean water so that we can get more blather wax seaweed. Duh. The Beauty Pie Vitamin C capsules are probably some of my favorite products ever, just because of how effective they are, how fun they are to use, and how well they work. And then just the travel-friendly microdose packaging. But as I've been trying these out, they do have this clear little container, and they do have ceramides, which we know are essential to support the skin. They have glyco and sphygnolipids, which help to create a protective barrier on the skin and can potentially even help with wound healing if you are someone like me, who gets a little pimple on her forehead and subconsciously scratches it when she is stressed the fuck out, which is like, all the time recently, but that's besides the point. This is fine. I'm okay with the events that are unfolding currently. That's okay. Things are gonna be okay. And regardless of which one you get, they are so much fun and so much less expensive than Elizabeth Arden. The other one that comes to mind is the Rodan and Fields. Rodan and Fields is an MLM, which I do not support, but I will give credit where credit is due. Those skincare capsules, developed by Dr. Kate Rodan, who does practice in the San Francisco Bay Area. Damn, she knows what she's doing. But I will not buy the Rodan and Fields MLM stuff because I don't support MLM. So this is an alternative that has just as good, if not better ingredients at a fraction of the price. Like when I look at it and I look at the price and I look at the ingredients and I compare them side by side, I look at these things and I say, why? Well, is there even an argument here? Is there even a conversation? That's exactly what I thought. Thank you. If you are looking for something that helps with brightening the skin, helps with evening the skin tone and color, a little bit of help with, you know, uneven pigmentation and you like something ribbony, the vitamin C ones are absolutely for you. If you want something that goes really well under sunscreen, you're looking for skin support, maybe you live in a big polluted city, absolutely the ceramide ones are for you. And you could use both of these in the same routine. Oh my God, they're so pretty. Oh, they're so pretty. I hope they come out with every color. Could you imagine if we had every color of the rainbow? Oh, I see all of the possibilities. And if you would like an additional discount on this, there is the Cassandra sent me code, which does get additional money off. It is totally an option. You do not have to use it because I've been using Beauty Pie since the inception of the pandemic, the panorama, the panini. They said, Cassandra Bankshan, we love that you love us and we love that you love your beautiful butterflies and that they love us too. We want to give discounts to you. And I said, please, yes, please feel free. So if you want to use that on any Beauty Pie products or subscriptions, you absolutely can. It does help support me, the channel, the team, and of course, all of the beautiful four-legged furry friends that are a part of our team as well. But of course, it is absolutely not necessary and not required at all. Always greatly appreciated, however. Now, speaking of capsules, uh, Kim Kardashian came out with, I, I don't know, is this a capsule? Is this furniture? Is this a Pokeball? I will say, I love the packaging on this. It is sustainable, it is refillable, it is very cool, and um, I love it. The only thing I don't love is the price. I'm testing this out currently. As you can see, I have been sparingly trying it, but when it comes to this, let me just say, I have found some products that are way less expensive 
and more effective than skkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkk
retinol. This gentle retinol triple smoothing infusion for $15 for how much? How big are you? What is your fluid ounces? 2.5 fluid ounces is way better. One fluid ounce, 1.01 fluid ounce for $72, you've got to be kitten me. And like when you look at this as a comparison, again, shockingly similar. Is it identical? No. Is it a dupe? No. And again, Beauty Pie has a lot of products that are extremely comparable to very high-end ones because again, they're made in the same luxury manufacturers that the big luxury brands are. They're using the same labs, the same manufacturers. They're just taking out the BS high inflated rates and passing the savings on to the people like me that don't want to spend more money than I have to to get good skincare. So is it an exact dupe? No, it's not exact. It doesn't come in a glass package. You know, the formula is slightly a different color and it is slightly different. But if you give me the option for $15 for an encapsulated retinol versus this Fido Retinol Hoochie Coochie Bacuchiol for $72 that literally makes my face sting from Biosans, Biosans can do so much better. They have done so much better. I've seen it. It's even stinging my hand, damn it. Whereas this overnight perfector, ooh, if you want a sleep mask, if you are someone who wants to wake up plump, dewy, glowy, retinoled to the gods without the irritation because it's encapsulated, this right here. This is a luxury skin swap that I found with the help of Tai Tai YY. If you don't know our potato wife, Tai Tai YY, um, yes, he helped me discover this and um, I am not looking back. I will not be Biosans buying this again. Other Biosans products? Ugh, absolutely. That one? Fuck no. And we would not be talking about luxury skin swaps if we didn't mention SkinCeuticals. Remember the overpriced hot dog smell in water? Yeah. Don't get me wrong. We love some vitamin C and we love a stabilized vitamin C with some ferulic acid, but do we need to support SkinCeuticals to get it? The dermatologists recommend it and it is good, but it's like $160 to $180 and um, it can actually be somewhat irritating on the skin. You know what's coming. If you've been here before, you know what's coming. Dr. Pabricone Triple C Ferulic. This is so freaking good. This is the Triple C and Ferulic Brightening Complex 20% and this is an oil-soluble vitamin C. Most vitamin C is water-soluble, just like your vitamin B, whereas your A's, your D's, your E's, and your K's are oil soluble. And things that are oil soluble penetrate into the skin more because our skin, you know, it has oil, it has sebum, and uh, oil soluble things can get through. So when trying to get things like vitamin C to penetrate, it can be hard and you need to use really acidic products to get it in the skin. But Dr. Paracone has come up with a solution because this is an oil soluble vitamin C ester that penetrates the skin so beautifully without irritation. It brightens, it revitalizes, it is expensive, it's like $160 but guess what it's on sale for? 120 and guess what your bitch did on Prime Day? I found it for $72 on Amazon Prime Day. I know I have my qualms with Amazon, but I'm also in a very um, codependent relationship when it comes to my Whole Foods purchases and my dresses with the pockets that are like 20 to $30. It's, it's, Oh man, it's hard. And God, the movies, now they have the music. Oh my God, and now they have the Grubhub free delivery. Oh, oh, and they have the Audible. Ah, it's a very codependent relationship, but I will say there are some benefits to the Amazon relationship, such as getting this for $72. I am so, so happy with this. Now, when it comes to the benefits of the relationship, isn't that what we all want? Don't we just want someone to like make us feel good, get us a movie, you know, bring us food? That is literally Amazon. They are sweet talking my heart with discounted skincare and they're literally letting me watch movies on Amazon Prime and then bringing me food because now Grubhub has free delivery through Amazon. Ah, uh, I need, mm, is there like an Amazon therapist? Does anybody know, like, does that exist? Because I need it. <laughs> Even at $170, this is worth it, but this is way better than the SkinCeuticals one, in my opinion. And if you want a luxury swap that is still luxury and on sale for like, you know, $120 on a good day, $72 on Amazon Prom Day, this is the way to do it. Now, SK2 is something I gotta talk to you about, but before we do, we gotta talk about devices because I think you know how terrible of an experience the Foreo UFO has been. This LED device that doesn't LED, it gets hot and cold, kind of like a, you know, codependent relationship. It gets a little hot and cold, and then you're supposed to put sheet masks on it, and then you're supposed to like swap out the sheet masks, but the sheet masks are very expensive. Um, as you can see, it gets goopy on the sides and there's no way to clean it. This side doesn't even work. I thought this did something. This does nothing. This is the only side that does anything. The little LED light 
thingy, it barely lights up at all. Like, tell me how that is giving me good skin support. And when I was trying to sign up for this, I had issues downloading the app, and then it made me try to sign up in Russian. And again, phonically, can I pronounce Russian? Absolutely, but Gavarish Paruski? I sure don't. Not as well as I need to. Chut chut, must I say. And this, this is going bye bye for another day. So if you want an LED device, but you don't want to spend 220 bucks plus the stupid little sheet masks, what are you supposed to do? Well, you take a regular sheet mask that has better ingredients and works better and is fragrance free, and you take a Sola Wave, which is literally a fraction of the price, is still travel friendly, and actually has LED that works at the right wavelength and penetrates into the skin and you use these all over your entire face and the main difference here where'd it go yeah found it the main difference with this that I lose on my desk is that this gets hot and cold but why you could literally put this like in a fridge if you want to like like why these are absolutely wonderful the solo wave is something that I didn't think was going to work I saw Debbie Ryan's uh, celebrity skincare routine that we reacted to and I saw her and the other celebrities using it and I was like fine I'll try it I thought it would be trash it's about the size of a pen and it charges very conveniently so I was able to take it with me and as you know I shoved it on my burn to make my burn heal faster and damn does this thing work? And when testing it out, it's the right wavelength. It actually penetrates into the skin, whereas this absolutely fucking does not. I think this is even on sale right now because they, they just can't sell it because it's bad. It's like a heavy, dirty paperweight. It's a hot and cold, emotional, heavy, dirty paperweight. Like, what is this? Whereas this, it's elegant. It looks like a pen. It looks like something that you would write down your to-do list or use to, you know, very nicely inspect the skin before you heal it. And you could use this with a sheet mask like, Come on, for Rayo. Come on. This was 150 when I bought it. I'm sad I didn't get it on sale. On sale, it was like 120 or even 110. I saw it that low on um, Amazon and then on like their actual website. And then these face masks, dude. The purple popper recipe face masks. Way better than the stupid Foreo ones. Any sheet mask that you like, you can use this with. And I'm just like. Foreo, Das Vidanya Foreo isn't even a Russian brand. It is literally a Swedish brand, but because the app made me sign up in Russian, I'm going to sign off to my Foreo in Russian. So Das Vidanya, have a, have a good life. You know, the state of what is happening to Ukraine right now makes me sad. The state of the economy makes me sad. And Kiehl's, this doctor dermatology brand that always has the skeleton hanging out in the airport, also makes me sad because they are not cruelty free and they are quite expensive. Kiehl's has a Centella Sensitive Sika Cream for $44 that is not cruelty free. The state of Kiehl's makes me sad, which is why I need to put on a happy face. You see, Kiehl's has a $44 Sensitive Skin Centella Tella Sika cream and the ingredients are really good, but they are not cruelty free and I do not shop nor support nor slather keels on my skin. Well, here comes another beauty pie option. This is literally a K-Beauty beauty pie version. It is the Happy Face from Beauty Pie and it is an extreme relief Sika moisture cream. If you have redness to the skin, if you want to build back your skin barrier, if you want to try Centella, this has multiple things, including Centella and Madagascar that are phenomenal for the skin. Now, when we look at the Kiehl's, it is $44 hairs for 1.7 fluid ounces. This one from Beauty Pie is 2.5 fluid ounces for only $15. Remember, don't look at the size of the package, look at the actual amount of product in the package. Just the way Cheerios is making the box look bigger and taller, but they are shrinking the size of the product. You wanna make sure that your beauty products aren't doing that too, this whole shrinkflation, cerealflation nonsense. Give me my damn circles in milk. <laughs> not to mention, the ingredients in this, in my opinion, are comparable, if not better. These both have water and glycerin to hold on to moisture. They both have metacosticide, which is anti-inflammatory. And this is basically K-beauty, skin-soothing, fragrance-free, loving stuff in a tube. And again, instead of paying 44 for Kiehl's and a little skeleton in a lab coat at San Francisco airport, they've got this for $15. And if you use the code, it's even less expensive. I just... I catch you not. Look at how beautiful, look at how fluffy, look at how nice, and this does the skin right. Again, if you have redness, and if you wanna try K-Beauty with antioxidants from a Beauty Pie brand, because K-Beauty either doesn't ship to you, or you haven't found the right one, or you just wanna try something that's $15, like this is literally, 
even better than some K-Beauty prices, and K-Beauty is very affordable. This gives me a happy face and a hydrated face. And of course, we couldn't be here if we didn't talk about Caudalie. Caudalie is a very interesting brand based on grapes and uh, very expensive, and they blew up on the Tiki Taki because um, they have this detox clay mask that like sucks the oil out of your face. Is it impressive? Yes. Does it look good? Yeah, but it's basically grape, like grape and clay, French clay. Okay, well guess what this is? Less expensive, made by three badass women in Canada, engineers, it's called Three Ships. It's available at Target for literally a fraction of the price and it has three ingredients. You mix this with water and it does the exact same thing that the Caudalie one does for your face. Maybe not exact, because again, the ingredients are different. You have to mix this with water, but so freaking similar. This is a luxury skincare swap that I absolutely adore. I used this when I was in Arizona and my face was literally sweating off. This has helped me mattify my face so well. It's the French pink clay. This is the rose hip and vitamin C clay mask. It is so good. It is brightening, it is evening, it helps you reduce the oil, and it also helps you reduce the pain that Caudalie has inflicted upon our wallets, or our Apple Pays, or our devices, or the credit cards, whatever we use to buy things right now in this technological society that we live in. Ah, three ships, French clay, je t'aime. <laughs> and let's step away from France and Korea for just a hot second and let's make our way over to Japan where SK2 is actually made. SK2 has this Patera extract. They have a very, very expensive product. This is not cruelty free. I purchased this before I was cruelty free. Okay, and um, I don't I don't even think it's it's good anymore, but I have used a bottle and a bit more of this and um, I keep it because I'm a hoarder. I really don't know why I keep it because it is not that revolutionary in my opinion compared to some other things that you can get for less. Now, does it have this Patera? Yes. The way that the brand likes to pitch this is that they went to Japan and they saw the people that put their hands in the sake, had beautiful hands, and they said, we must put this on our faces, and they did, and then they made it for like a hundred and something dollars. Is it luxury? Yes. Is it a glass package? Yes. Is it very nice Japanese or Japanese-inspired beauty that is owned by a large multi-billion conglomerate called L'Oreal in America? Yes, but I don't think, oh, sorry, it's not America, it's PNG. Oops, is it PNG? It's made in Japan at least. Oh, girl, you gotta check yourself. Check yourself. The ingredients in here are quite basic, and I just don't think it's worth the money. And again, I used a bottle and a, a bottle and a, an eighth of it, and this was years ago. Now, the good news is that I do have Opsionis. There's actually a Misha toner that is almost identical. That is a K Beauty line that is also not cruelty free, but that is if you want a dupe. This is not a dupe, but this is very, very comparable. This right here is the ENS from Jin Jung Sung, and if you are looking for something that supports the skin that helps with the fine lines and wrinkles, that has an antioxidant boost, that's hydrating and in a little glass bottle. Again, not identical, but this is very comparable and I like this one better. And it is a fraction of the price. This Jin Jung Sung Moisture Essence is normally $20. I see it on sale right now at Stylevana for $14. I don't know how long it'll be on sale for, but it is excellente. Um, if you do get it from Amazon, just make sure that you're always buying from an authorized retailer. Credithink is a retailer on Amazon that is authorized, and again, 20 bucks. Compare that to five times the price for 100 You've got to be shooting me. And this is even more liquidy, like you're getting less bang for your buck, whereas this is still liquidy, but it has a little bit more of a gelatinous jellyfish type texture. I love the Jin Chung Sung. I like it better than this one. And I like the price much better. And my face feels the exact same way because again, I am the girl who walks my ass into Costco and I get the free samples because if they are vegan, I will eat all of the free spring rolls. And I will leave with a cart where I came in with a list of items telling myself I would stick to the list, but then there were other things and they're in bulk and the prices were so good that I just add them to my cart and I walk out the door and I'm spending closer to a hundred bucks than I wanted to. But if I had spent that money in anywhere else, it would probably be three to 400. And that is the same way that I feel about some of these luxury skincare swaps. A huge thank you to Beauty Pie for making affordable skincare, for supporting me, for supporting the channel, for supporting the beautiful butterflies, for supporting the adjumination, because you know, we love to learn me, not only a book, but a skincare ingredients list too. And it is always a pleasure working with them. And again, you do not have to use it, but if you want that coupon code, it is there for you as well, is these vitamin C capsules, which my pores 
a door. And if you do wanna use your hydrated fingers to press the little notification button, the one that has the little bell, you will be notified when I bitch on the internet about Skkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkkk